No. <laughs> Well, yeah, so we're part of a ministry. Are we part of a ministry? I was like, no. And uh, as man, far as a, a an actual, brothers. if Christ came to minister, then I would, by definition, I'd have to say we are part. Because as you see, we I, we was just ministering. We we had some kind of spiritual Have you dialogue. Been according to Acts nineteen, yeah, I would have to say yes. According to Acts nineteen. You Acts nineteen verses one through seven. Yes. What does that say? I'll read it real quick. So that way you understand what I mean perfectly. And it came to pass while apostles was at Corinth, Paul having passed through the upper coast and came to Ephesians, like Ephesians, and finding certain disciples. He said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be a Holy Ghost. So he's saying, Hey, do you, have y'all had the Holy Ghost? We're like, We don't know what you're talking about. Like he's speaking Chinese at this point. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. And he said unto him, Unto what then were you baptized? Then, like, how were you baptized then if y'all ain't got no Holy Ghost? Okay. And they said unto John's baptism, which is what we know today is the dipping of water, things in the nature. Were you dipped in water? No, I wouldn't. But this is what I was. Right here, what he's finna read. Verse 4. Then Paul, uh, then said Paul, John verily, I mean diligently, fervently, baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that he is on Jesus Christ. Like mm -hmm. you were telling me earlier. Mm -hmm. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of Jesus. Not when they were dipped in water, but when they heard this, when he brought this conversation to them and they heard this they and they took it in. in the no, no, it says when they heard this, they were baptized in his name. Yeah, well, who baptized them? And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, meaning they were baptized before the hand lay. So they baptized at this point, meaning they ain't going nowhere. Then Paul lays hands and it says the Holy Ghost came on them and they spake with tongues and prophesied and all them were about 12. Okay. That's the baptism we have. Okay, so you've never been baptized in water? No. Nah. I've been baptized in that baptism. I mean, the baptism of repentance. I mean, I no, 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 let me quit. Well, he has. I have it. I've been given the baptism of repentance, believing on him that came after John, which is Christ. Okay, so you believe. Yeah. But you haven't been formally baptized in water. Formally, cornerly, no, not John's baptism of the water. Uh -uh. Not, not John's baptism, Jesus' baptism. No, it says John's baptism, meaning he was the one that dipped John. I mean, he the one dipped Jesus. Yeah. And he only dipped Jesus. Paul he didn't dip nobody did, else. But now you just read where Paul laid his hands on them. Right? After they were baptized. Yeah, but see, they were baptized in the name of John. And, and, and they no, they weren't. Good enough. That's no. what they just, that's what yeah, they just read. That first baptism, they were dipped in water, and it was not good enough. You're right. So the now, water baptism wasn't good enough. But see, right. Jesus, when Jesus came to be baptized by John, right? They didn't validate the water. No. No. But he, see, John told Jesus, you should be baptized in me. Didn't John say that? Right. Yeah. Okay. But Jesus told his disciples to baptize people in water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He didn't say baptize in water. He the water part wasn't there. We didn't read the water. Baptism is. That ain't what it means. That's what we're I known for, too. Just like we know what person is, and you taught me something about person. You said the second and third definition, because we don't <laughs> yeah. go into baptism on the definition in the definition Good. Yeah, look it up in the dictionary, please. Please uh, look that up. No, I heard it. <laughs> hey, right here, baptism. I mean, cause we did. You can look it up on there. Look it up. Let's see what it is. Baptism. Hey, I'm gonna run them up the street real quick. All right, you'll be right back. Yeah, I'm gonna run them up right up the street. Oh wait, maybe hold on. Oh wait, I was in this. All right, he can go. Let me see. B A R. B A P. Right, right. I'm looking for it. It's. B A P T I S. B A N B A N N B A N K. Baptize. Immerse or sprinkle with water See? ceremony or Christian baptism or best moral. Yep, this is the only one definition. But if that's the only one definition, then what was Paul talking about? He was talking about being baptized in water. What does it say that in these seven verses? If you can help me understand well, it. Well, you have to understand what baptism means. Jesus was baptized in water, wasn't he? He was the only one. Moses wasn't. And nor anybody after Jesus. Nobody, uh, Paul wasn't dipped in water. Yes, nor one of the disciples. Yes, where, where, where does it say he was dipped in water? Okay, it doesn't go, get in the, in the, in the that detail on everyone in there. But the baptism, the word baptism means you get baptized in water. 